Dear future Brandon, if you somehow forget how to set up a profi net on a brand new PLC, here's how you do it. Uh, in the hardware config, you right click PNIO and you hit insert profi net IO system. That's going to be linked to your IO that is the IO here. So this is the PLC's address right there. We're going to want to come down to the new subnet. We're going to want to create an Ethernet node. We're going to call this guy just, just Ethernet. And hit OK and hit OK. And there it is. That's our Ethernet node. So I'm going to come over here and type in the actual number I have for this guy. This is a, let's just say 147 dash. 6BG, and we hit enter on that. It's going to come down and find this is a 8DIDO. That's cool. So I have a few options here. That's a OBBO, but this is what I have is an ABO. And there's no difference between these two guys except for the firmware. So I'm just going to choose the latest firmware. Drop that in there. I get this weird double question mark thing, but that's okay. Now the default IP address is going to give it is 11. If I don't like that, I can click Ethernet and I can change that to like a 12 or a 50 or whatever I want. But 11 is fine. Now, a note for Profinet names. Profinet names should all be in lowercase. I've gotten stuck before on other devices that require everything to be lowercase. And even in TIA portal, you'll notice uh, lowercase is required or automatically converted for you when you do it. So I'm just going to call this guy ET Eco. And I leave it at that. Hit OK. So there's my ET Eco. Yeah, if you click on the black bar here, it'll tell you all the devices you have. It's, there it is. OK, 11. Perfect. So to set up our ET Eco, we're going to go to PLC and then to Ethernet. And we have two options here. And I'll show you both. Edit Ethernet node. And here we can enter the IP address or we can just go ahead and browse for it. We can browse and once it finds it, okay, there we are. So there's my ET200 Eco right there. There's my PLC. As an IP address of zero, I can just hit OK. And I can give this guy the name ET Eco and hit assign name. But I'm going to show you the other method. You can also assign the IP address in the subnet here as well. We're going to hit close though. PLC Ethernet and assign device name. This one's a little cooler as an extra function of uh, s filtering out other devices. Like you can have show only devices with the same type and devices without names. This guy had a name, but we're not going to worry about that. So we can just hit assign name here. Therefore, we don't have to type it in. We can just hit assign and it assigns it. It's easy enough. And then once the PLC has assigned the name, the PLC will then assign the IP address automatically. And that's what makes Profinet such a beautiful uh, field bus is that the PLC can change all the IP addresses of all the devices. Uh, so you don't, if they, like say the customer gives you a Excel sheet that says, I want all the devices in this IP address range, you're good to go. All you got to do is just fix it in your hardware config, re-download to the PLC, and that populates all the devices. So I'm hitting update here, hoping to see an IP address pop up there, but it's not. But that's okay. What I'll just do is I'll reboot the device real quick. Okay, I rebooted it, still didn't work. What I forgot to do was actually download this to the PLC. The PLC is not going to give it an IP address. The PLC doesn't know it has this yet. So let's just go ahead and save and compile. We're gonna go ahead and enter our safety password. And we're gonna hit uh, download to the PLC. Which PLC? This PLC. That address? Yes, that address. You wanna stop the device? Yes, we wanna stop the device. You wanna start the device now? Yes, we wanna start the device now. Now we've downloaded it. All right, so if I go ahead and go online here, cool. So my PLC is starting. I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 here to continue the start process. Okay, so it is starting now. Cool, but now we have this guy. So let's see here. If we right-click and go to module information, why is he not happy? All right, figured out what my problem is. I put the wrong device on here. Now it says the expected type is a 6 BJ, but I have a 6BH. So, whoops. I want a 6BH. Now go online. 
You'll see still in stop mode. Hit F5 to refresh. Boom, there he is. Now he is happy. He has no little red X or a uh, little light red line through him. He's there, he's talking, and he's good. So if you want to do the same thing for Profibus, you click the Profibus. You, you double click the Profibus. Uh, you would change this type to uh, from MPI to Profibus. You would say, I am uh, network. I am address two. The PLC is always like address two. You hit new uh, profi bus. I'll just remove that because it's unnecessary. Hit OK, OK, and OK. And therefore, this is our profi bus net right there. We can assign uh, profi bus devices with this as well. I recommend never using profi bus. Profi bus, uh, now that profinet is the, the new thing, never use profi bus. There's too many issues with it. Uh, but there you go. Okay, bye.